Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I'm going to turn this titanium powder into one of the most fuming liquids on earth. The liquid I'm talking about is titanium tetrachloride, so we're going to have to react the titanium with large amounts of chlorine gas. Chlorine is a poisonous toxic yellow green gas, so as you can imagine this will be lots of fun. To get a feel for how reactive this is I'm going to take some out, sprinkle it into this flame. And as you can see it's quite reactive, so we should be able to do some good chemistry with this. For the reaction I want to use 626 tri trillion atoms of titanium metal, which corresponds to 48 grams, so exactly one mole. And as a reaction apparatus I want to use this borosilicate tube. I hope it can withstand the conditions of this reaction. Here you can see the entirety of the chlorination apparatus. And now let's quickly go over it step by step while filling in the rest of the reagents. The titanium is already in up there. So this right here is the chlorine generator. Because to generate the chlorine we'll be reacting calcium hypochlorite with hydrochloric acid. And after making sure that the stopcock is properly closed, we'll add 1.1 kilograms of 30% hydrochloric acid in this. And down here we'll add 300 grams of calcium hypochlorite which can then react with the hydrochloric acid forming chlorine gas and calcium chloride and also some water. I will also make sure to properly crease all the joints so we'll minimize the risk of having a chlorine gas leak which is obviously always a catastrophe. Behind the chlorine generator I'll be adding a liberal amount of sulfuric acid in this wash bottle to thoroughly dry the chlorine because water would destroy our product. The then dried chlorine will go through this tube into this flask down here and then up into the titanium where it will hopefully react and then the liquid titanium tetrachloride can condense down here into this flask and at the end here I will be adding some concentrated sodium hydroxide to destroy any leftover chlorine gas okay now let's slowly open the stopcock and let the hydrochloric acid drip on the calcium hypo drip not flow on the calcium hypochloride so we can start generating the chlorine the entire apparatus is already flushed with chlorine. It's nice and green here in this tube. And now let's see if the heat gun is strong enough to start the reaction. This is looking great. This looks not healthy. I hope the glass can survive that. I have no idea actually. Who would have thought that this would work so well? Well, I haven't collected any product yet. Shouldn't jump to conclusions before that. But how often do you see titanium burning in chlorine? I mean that's worth something. And that liquid right there might actually be the product titanium tetrachloride. So after getting poisoned by a fair bit of chlorine, I think I've got this running stable now. Problem is that certain joints, like this one or this one, were constantly popping off because my joint clips apparently are very bad quality. But the good thing is about this reaction, once it's going, it's going like Usually when the chlorine is running I don't have to heat it anymore and it keeps dripping. My beaker broke right there and the shard got stuck there. That's kind of funny. Now it's time to secure my product and hope I don't get killed by the tickle vapors. And as you can see this is fuming quite profusely. That's funny, some leaves fell into the absorption medium where I was catching the chlorine of sodium hydroxide and as you can see they've lost all their color. So this is some quite concentrated bleach now I guess. So to neutralize the chlorine generator I will just let it sink in some water. In order to purify the titanium tetrachloride I'm going to have to distill it. Let's just turn the heat on full blast now and see what happens. Now we can nicely see the vapor front of titanium tetrachloride rising up here. And our product is condensing, amazing. Great, but there seems to be some impurity in the distillation apparatus. We could distill it again to get rid of it, but I think I will just leave it as is. So at least my titanium tetrachloride has some character. I mean it looks really beautiful actually. Now it's time to measure the yield. So I have a carefully dried flask. Now let's pour everything in there.
Now we need to properly class this up. The yield is 63 grams. Whoa. We've got some in my hand. Great. And let's not forget to write on there what's in here. People always tell me how irresponsible I am for not wearing gloves while handling chemicals like that. Now let's see how bad that really is by putting some of that stuff in my hands on purpose. This feels really strange. Okay, so it's getting a little bit warm but freezing it in felt far worse. But as you can see my fingers are completely unharmed. I mean obviously this is not good for my skin and it probably get somewhat attacked on a molecular level but and you sh definitely shouldn't do this on purpose. But I don't see how a little spill like that is so catastrophic or bad. Now let's see what happens when we drop that liquid into some water. reacting but really only quite slowly. Let's first try to put some onto a hot plate. Wow that's amazing. Now let's put it in hot water. Now hot ethanol. Whoops, I spilled a little bit. And last but certainly not least, some hot ammonia. Fantastic. Now for the final act. Let's pour some boiling ethanol into the flask containing the remaining titanium tetrachloride. If you want to see even more amazing chemistry like that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. Thanks a lot for watching and until then. Also, if you would leave me a like and a comment, I would really appreciate that a lot.